There are 46 tracks on the original soundtrack to Ahsoka Volume 1. Today we're taking a light speed look at 10 tracks you don't want to miss. Number 10, Loyalists, a short but great action piece. Listen for a possible duel of the fates quote near the beginning, the use of the shakuhachi, a Japanese flute used throughout the piece, and a great percussion and strings groove. Number 9, Stepping Out. Listen for the John Williams-esque orchestrations in the intro, and then the bass shakuhachi that kind of barks repeatedly, and we hear that throughout the entire series. Finally, brass rhythms near the end that emulate moments of the asteroid field from The Empire Strikes Back. Number 8, Meet Up With Balin. Listen for the theme for Morgan Elsbeth in the brass, and then followed by a beautifully haunting synth soundscape. Finally, what Kiner called the Ronin motif in the low strings at about a minute and a half into the track. And we'll hear this again, most notably in the end credits. Number seven, the whale pod. Listen for ethereal, religious, almost awe-inspiring vocals that seem to move to the rhythm of the whales themselves. Then there's siren-like warning dissonance into strings. Finally, keep an ear out for a really grounding percussion and synth groove near the end of the track. At number six, we have Ahsoka and Balin. This is a great lightsaber fight, kind of in music form. Listen in the beginning as Ahsoka and Balin's theme both fight for your attention. Then later, there's a shakuhachi and taiko drums feature that help us associate Ahsoka with a lone samurai-like warrior. And finally, there's an epic rendition of Balin's Dies Irae theme with full orchestra, vocals, and synth. Number five, opening the map. I might be kind of partial to this one because I'm a percussionist. So listen first for the octobons, these drums that are played with heavy delay and go back and forth between the right and left channels. Then at a minute and 36, listen for what Kiner calls an alien war horn, the synth horn. Finally, near the end of the track, Ahsoka's theme is played but almost ghostly on a flute. Number four, the update, which opens the entire series. First, sparse, exotic percussion that give us a sense of mystery. And then uneasy, descending strings that signal impending doom. Later in the track, ethereal voices blend with the orchestra to tell us that there's something that's almost spiritual and maybe sinister about our antagonists. From the very beginning to the very end, number three is end credits. This is full of themes. Listen for Ahsoka's theme played on cello and viola, then Sabine's theme on full strings, and finally a beautiful performance of Harris theme on a solo French horn. Number two, Iggy Aka. Killer vocals by the lead singer of punk rock band Illuminati Hotties, Sarah Tudson. And I love how this track seamlessly shifts back and forth from diegetic music, that is music that exists in the world on screen, and then back to soundtrack music that exists outside of the world on screen. And finally, just enjoy the fact that we have punk rock in Star Wars. And coming in at number one, Master and Apprentice. How do you equate Balin's skull with evil incarnate? Maybe directly quote Masorsky's Night on Bald Mountain. Listen also for Balin Skull's Dies Irae theme on a grand piano, and finally it ends with an epic version of Ahsoka's theme. Do you have any favorite tracks from Volume 1 that you think should be on this list? Please leave a comment and let us all know, and look for a video on Volume 2 coming out very soon. And if you'd like more videos like this, please like, share, and subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching.